In this video, we'll show you some practical tips about how to use the Tonavet tonometers. For further information, please see the user manual or instruction video. Eye care Tonavet tonometers are based on a rebound principle in which a small, lightweight probe gently touches the cornea. Measurement does not require anesthesia or calibration. The movement parameters of the probe are measured and converted into millimeters of mercury to show the intraocular pressure value. Since the tone of it measures the speed of the bounce, the gravity effects, and therefore the positioning of the probe is important to get an accurate reading. The probe should contact the central cornea perpendicularly at about a 90 degree angle. It should contact the cornea with the tip, not the side of the probe. The tonometer can be rotated 360 degrees as long as the probe remains at about a 90 degree angle. IOP can be increased by incorrect handling, stress, or other factors. To minimize the external error sources, pay attention to correct handling of the patient. Ideally, the patient is sitting down when IOP is measured. If the patient prefers to stand up or lay down, it is okay if the head is facing straight ahead, not left or right, nor up or down. When measuring the other eye, do not move the head of the patient. Keep the patient's position the same and adjust your own position. Tilting the head from side to side can increase the IOP. If the patient needs to be held still during the measurement, it is important to do it gently. Make sure the patient can breathe normally while measuring and avoid pressing the jugular vein. Also ensure the collar is not too tight. If in doubt, remove the collar during the measuring. Some cats prefer to be held by the owner or a technician. Then the measurement can be performed, for example, over the shoulder. To be able to measure the pressure from the central cornea, it'd be helpful to have the patient's eyes looking straight forward. A modest whistle or a similar soft voice made by a measurer typically helps to get the patient's attention. If the patient closes the eye, it needs to be held open. Make sure that you're not pressing the eyeball while doing it. Hold the eye so that your fingers are far enough from the eyeball. If the patient seems uncomfortable with the measurement, turn off the positioning light. It's rare, but it may bother some sensitive patients. When turning the positioning light off, it'll instead appear as green or red arrows on the display. To get a steadier grip, you can support the tonometer with your hand. When measuring, it's important to see the eye and the probe. For patient comfort, always pay attention to the probe's distance from the cornea. It's not necessary to look at the display during the measurement. If the probe is too far or near, the tonometer will play a double beep as an error message. It can be cleared by pressing the measurement button once to continue the measurement sequence. Once the error is cleared, no need to start over from beginning. It may be possible to measure the IOP without removing the cone collar by rotating the tonometer. If you must adjust the cone, make sure that it's not pressing the neck while measuring, as it may increase the IOP.